We also do Botox, which can be very helpful. And we actually do Botox for migraine headaches, which in, in some cases have really give, given patients a terrific relief when they weren't getting any relief from the medications they were taking or anything else. Um, and there's some fillers in there. We do fillers for deepened creases, wrinkles, um, to enhance the cheeks, to smooth the jawline, um, to fill in wrinkles under the eyes, uh, and uh, particularly the folds between the cheek and the upper lip. Uh, it's a really common area for us to treat. The marionette lines that go from the corners of the mouth down, we treat that with fillers. And, um, and we do combinations. You know, uh, sometimes patients will come in for Botox and fillers, or for fillers and laser procedures. And uh, more and more patients seem to be interested in less invasive procedures now. So that part of our practice is growing. Uh, and uh, the results sometimes are not as dramatic as they are with surgery, but they're also less expensive, there's less downtime, fewer risks. So uh, that's appealing for a lot of patients. When you feel good on the outside, it just brings out a, just an amazing person when you're confident and you feel good about yourself. And I feel like I have the ability with the artistic part, portion of my personality that I can sit and work with women and look at them and give them my opinion on what would be a nice enhancement. I want to keep everything um, very natural very rested. Um, so often I hear patients will come in or clients will come in and say, I don't want anything that looks too overdone. I don't want anything that looks like Hollywood. I just want to be myself, but just look a little more like I came back from vacation and I'm, I'm rested. Mm -hmm.